Hi guys, today I'm gonna compare aloe vera gel and racket gel as detanglers for my natural hair. Thank you Chulumanko Giyose for suggesting this video. Universe! First of all, I'm gonna show you how I make aloe vera gel. After washing the leaves with tap water, I remove the base of each leaf, cut the leaves in half and remove the spines. Aloe vera is used in the Caribbean as a natural shampoo and conditioner. It's also used on the skin, especially if you suffer from acne, sunburn, or skin irritation. Personally, I prefer to use aloe vera gel on my skin. It's so refreshing and hydrating. It's full of nutrients and other actives such as vitamins A, B, C, and E, mono and polysaccharides, fatty acids, salicylic acid, enzymes, minerals, amino acids, and phenolic compounds. Aloe vera has anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, and antioxidant properties. In this video, I'm gonna use aloe vera as a detangler, but keep in mind that this plant is amazing for your scalp. If you want to maintain a healthy scalp, I recommend you to use aloe vera gel regularly as a scalp mask. It's also used traditionally as a hair growth treatment. Now I'm putting the leaves in a bowl filled with tap water to wash out the aloein, which is a yellow latex that becomes red once oxidized. I rinse the leaves several times by changing the water until it becomes totally clear. In that case, I have changed the water three times. This step is very important because aloein can irritate your skin. One day I used aloe vera on my scalp without properly removing the aloein and all my body was itching. Keep in mind that even after washing properly the aloe vera, you can still experience some itching if you are allergic to it. Therefore, I recommend you to apply some aloe vera gel to the crook of your elbow as a patch test and watch your skin for any signs of allergic reaction over the next 48 hours. Now I remove the skin from one side of each leaf and scoop out the gel with a spoon. Once I remove all the gel from the aloe vera leaves, I put it in my blender and blend, blend, blend. Then I use my filter bag to extract the gel and separate it from residues.
As you can see, this gel is very liquidy compared to racket gel, flaxy gel or okra gel. I'm putting the gel in two containers, one for me and one for my friend and it's now ready to use. Now it's time to make racket gel. I have removed the base and all the spines of each racket pad. I'm cutting each pad in half. Then I remove the skin from one side of each racket pad and this is where I'm gonna grate from using the small holes of my grater. Then I get a very thick beautiful green mucilage that I'm gonna filter to remove the residues. I decided to use my transparent bowl so that you can see this beautiful mucilage. These are the residues left in the filter bag so you better filter this gel otherwise you get a lot of big chunk residues in your hair. This is the texture of the gel, it's less thick than the one in the previous video probably because the water content of my racket pads in this video is higher. To finish, I'm going to put the gel into containers, one for me and one for my other friend. I'm going to apply aloe vera gel on the left side of my hair and racket gel on the right side of my hair. I make sure to wet my hair first because it facilitates the application of the gels. Here I make sure that all my hair strands are covered with aloe vera gel.
as you can see there are some very small residues on my hair but it's okay Now it's time to use racket gel. I make sure to cover all my strands with racket gel as I did with aloe vera gel. I had to open the bottle because racket gel is so thick but it feels really good to use it on my hair. As you can see, it's way thicker than aloe vera gel, therefore it's a better detangler in that specific case. My curls tend to be more defined with racket gel, however, it leaves way more residues on my hair than aloe vera gel. I waited for a few hours to see how my hair would look. My hair is puffier and frizzier on the side where I applied aloe vera gel, but it's probably because my hair on this side had more time to air dry than my hair on the other side. Aloe vera gel can help with detangling my hair, but it doesn't have a lot of slip compared to racket gel, flaxseed gel, or okra gel. I think the main reason for that is that aloe vera gel is more liquidy. The thicker the gel, the better detangler it will be. Of course, there are other factors you should take into account to determine if a product will be a great detangler for natural hair or not. I'm gonna talk about this in another video. To sum up, I would use aloe vera gel and racket gel as rinse out detanglers, pre poo treatments, co washes, hair masks, or rinse out conditioners. Of course, I would combine them with oils and other ingredients to make more efficient DIY products for my hair. I would not use them as leave-ins because racket gel leaves residues on my hair and aloe vera gel is too liquidy and not as efficient as flaxseed gel or okra gel to lay down my hair, do my twists, twist outs, braid outs and other hair sets. I might change my mind but that's what I think for the moment. I have made videos about how I make flaxseed gel and okra gel, you can check them out, I will put the links in the description box. That's it for this video, don't forget to like and subscribe with notifications to be the first to know when I publish a new video. Thank you for watching, bye bye, see you in the next video.